Well, welcome aboard. It's good to be here. Uh, we did nursing home today and had a good time, I think. And uh, I didn't do the message that I had planned on doing. There was another message that I brought, and I thought it was factual, and I thought it was good. And I decided I'd come out here and uh, share the message with the people over their way, and hopefully maybe you get something from it. I'm in the book of Philippians, chapter number four, and there's a verse right here that I want to read, and this is Paul's words closing out the book of Philippians. He says in verse number 19 is where we are tonight. If you have your Bible and you want to follow along, we're only going to do one verse. It's very short. It says here, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That's the verse that we're going to do tonight. I looked at the people this morning when I got there after I read this verse. And I asked them what was their need. What was their need? And I thought of things that most people would maybe have thought of. And I'm just going to list them all for you very quickly. One of the things that many people may say is you need food. Them folks need food. Uh, none of them today that I saw was famished for lack of food. They all are able to eat, and they all are able to get fed. But they have need of food. Um, they also have need of clean clothes. Clean clothes is important. Sometimes the family does the clothes, but in this case with the virus, I don't know that the family is able to do the clothing now like they did. But clean clothes is important. Just like I told them, I wear a pair of jeans probably a couple times in one in one dressing because I don't really get them messed up. I can wear them again the next day if I if I need to. Um, one of the things that the nursing home has is they have what they call a safety detail. They have a security uh, man on guard that is able to not only guard the nursing home. But they are able also to guard the hospital complex. So they don't use it just for the nursing home. He makes his rounds through the nursing home. He shows his presence. He doesn't stay. He doesn't stay in the way. He's just basically going through the hallway to make sure everything is in order. And so therefore safety is a thing that the folks need at the nursing home. They need to be assured that there's no one that's going to try to hurt the residents or somebody that shouldn't be there that's there. That's part of the safety detail to make sure that everything is good. Um, they have need of water. Um, the folks in the nursing home, they depend on water for drinking water they depend on it to 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 bathe they uh depend on it to wash their hands when it's time to go to lunch and to go to supper and breakfast they go in and they wash their hands and uh so water is definitely very important that's a need that they have they also have a need of air conditioning and heat uh, there's times when the nursing home, the AC unit might have a problem and they'll bring in these rented type units to set them in the hallway and they hook it to their duct system. And when they hook it to the duct system, it allows, um, uh, air condition 
to be given to the residents without using the main unit. And sometimes the when the AC unit goes out, then they're lacking of air condition. If it happens to go out in the wintertime, they also have a heat system that can be as a backup. So heat and air condition is definitely important. And, you know, I thought of one thing that everything so far has need of, and that's power. I've got power on out here in with this light on. And then folks in the nursing home, they had need of electricity to be able to turn on the bathroom light, to be able to run their television, to be able to run the air conditioning unit for the staff to cook the food. Uh, there's a need for all of, all of that. I even actually thought of one thing that I really was showing the minuscule, um, amount is the nursing home has a ready supply of triple A batteries. You need triple A batteries to go into the TV remotes. So they have triple A batteries somewhere stored up so that if somebody has a TV remote that needs a triple A battery, they can get them. And generally they are never run out of them triple A batteries. Um, the people down there have need of soap. You know, soap is a commodity anymore where you want to sanitize your hands and wash your hands. You know, soap is a, is a big deal. You know, you need to clean yourself up. You need to sanitize yourself. So definitely soap is something that is a definite need. Um, one of the things that I thought of and I pulled out my medicine, I don't have my medicine on me now, is the medicine of their pills and their uh, shots and everything that they have need of to be able to survive and be able to live. I'm a diabetic. I have to take nearly four shots a day. I take one at every um, sitting um, of every time I eat, and then I take one at night before I go to bed. So medicine is important. That's a need that they have. And the last one that I thought of, that I thought that was one that, that they definitely have need of, is they have need of the nurses. They need the nursing staff to go in and make sure that the residents are okay. There's another thing that they don't have need of. They don't, they don't have need of locks on the door. Um, they have to be able to get into the room. So therefore there is really no need of a lock on the door. They have need of oxygen. We all need air to breathe, but I'm cutting down to the number one need according to the verse that we just read here in the book of Philippians. The number one need that people have today is Jesus. Now, if you try to tell that to a person that is lost, they won't agree with that. They'll agree with all these things that I called out. They'll agree with the fact that they need food and they need clean clothes and they need air conditioning and heat. They need water. They need all of these things that I've just mentioned to you here. They need the medicine and the soaps and they need the nursing staff. See, all of them things that they have need of but the number one need that man has today is the need of salvation and need of Jesus Christ. That is the major need that man needs today. Uh, I want to look at verse 19 again. I want to break it down like I did to them. It says in the verse 19, the first three words, 
But my God, can we say today, my God, that's what I asked the residents this morning. Can we say that the God is my God? Paul is the one saying this. Paul is the one that is recognizing that it is God who is able to supply because he says, my God shall supply. My God shall supply, meaning there's no danger of running out. There's no danger of what it is that we have need of. My God, what he's saying is, but my God shall supply all your need. Now, the Bible doesn't say the word needs with the S. It says that my God shall supply all your need. Well, let me tell you what that means. If them folks down there, they need all of this stuff that I wrote down on this list. They need every bit of all the stuff I wrote down. And if God sees that somebody has more than one need, is God going to meet the needs of the people? Yes, he is. He's going to meet the needs of the Christian. But he says here in this verse, all your need, meaning if only one thing is needed, he will supply that need. That's what caused me to do this lesson to the people in the nursing home because I felt like that, you know, so many times we take for granted of the things that we have need of. We don't even stop and think of the things that are on this list that I just listed. We don't, we don't think of that because we don't think of that as being important until we run, until we run out. If them folks would run out of them AAA batteries to operate their television, they would have to go down to the store and they would have to get several packs of the AA batteries and AAA batteries so that they would have a fresh supply when the need arise for them batteries. They would have to go and get them. They're not going to let the residents do without their only entertainment that they have. The TV is their only entertainment that they have. But it says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches. Now, who is he referring to? He's referring to God. He's mentioning up there, but my God. Paul didn't say that he could supply. Paul was saying that God himself will supply. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches. Well, who's rich? Is God rich? Yes. I mentioned to one of them today that if one of them needed to win the lottery and win a million dollars, that million dollars wouldn't give better health care. It might prolong life. It might give enjoyments. But when that person died, that person would leave that money with their family member. It wouldn't help them to last any longer just because you ended up having a million dollars. A million dollars won't buy you health care. It might make you last a little bit longer, but when your time is to come to go, you're going to go. Whether you got a million dollars or whether you don't have a million dollars. He's saying here in this verse, all your need according to his riches, meaning is God rich? Well, we know he is. There's a scripture in one place that says that God is the owner of the cattle on a thousand hills. Is God rich? Can God supply my need? I just recently, back at the end of December, January, I recently put down a new well. This is the third well that I've had since I've lived here on this place since 
1973, or maybe maybe a little longer than that, maybe around 75 or 76, I moved to where I'm living at right now, and I drove a well, and I'm already on the third well. So see, I didn't really want to spend the money to put down a new well, but I needed water. But you know what? My real number one priority is, is I need Jesus. But I also needed water too. And I had the money to be able to spend, to pay for the well, to put down the well. I think it was like twenty. dollars five hundred dollars i believe it was something close to that in there i had the money to be able to get it and i ha i haven't had no problem with the supply of water from that well but you know what i hated to do it in this such late season of life but you know what we we don't know when the lord's coming and, you know, my hope would have been just as well for me not to worry about it, to continue with the well that I had. But evidently, it just wasn't meant to be. See, I had the funds to pay for water, but did I really want to do it? No, I really didn't. He says here, according to his riches in glory, by who? By Christ Jesus. See, what we have need of today is Jesus. What the world has need of today is Jesus. The lost man needs Jesus. The saved man needs more of Jesus. I need Jesus. And you know what? You need Jesus today. If you're saved out here and you're looking at this video, you need more of Jesus. What is Jesus saying to us through the Apostle Paul right here? But my God, Paul's saying this now. This is the man that was knocked down on the road to Damascus. He's bragging on the fact that he has a God because he's saying here, it's my God, meaning he had a personal God. He had a, a relationship with his God. Why would he go and say, but my God? It was Paul's God, but it was also the people of the Philippian people. He was writing this letter. He was going to close out this letter, and that's where he is now. He's closing out the letter, and he's reminding them, but my God shall supply. You know, God is the God that can give us food and clean clothes and safety and water. He can give us the AC and the heat and air. He can give us the, the power in the electrical current. He can also supply us the little tiny little battery for the little, tiny, little remote that will allow our TV to work. See, you're looking at power that runs the facility, and you got power that runs the TV remote. All in between, God is able to supply, because he says, God shall supply all your need. Who's he talking to here? He's talking to the Christian. Does God have to supply the need to people that don't know him? No. He don't have to supply to the people that don't know him. Does he supply food to the infidel? Yeah. Does he supply AC and electric and, and soap and medicine and nurses even to the people that are lost? Yes. But you know what he is in hopes of? That they will come to the service and they will listen to the gospel message. You know, I go up there and try my best to bring a message that is a good message. 
that I want the message to affect everybody that is there, that is listening. But you know what? I don't control who they bring. I can only deliver the word of God to the best of my ability. And the Lord Jesus has to be the one to deal with the person's heart. The Lord put it on my heart today to remind them that they're, even though they have need of food and clean clothes, they have more of a need for Jesus. If them folks up there today was saved, and I believe that some of them are saved, what if there would have been only one that wouldn't have been not saved? What if there would have been just one that would have been there that didn't have that relationship with God? Does God want to have a relationship? Sure he does. He wants me to come out here and bring a video that would encourage you out there that just because God is supplying you food and clothes and shelter and, and, and a relative, uh, safety, you know, today we can't even count on safety today because the police officers are leaving by the thousands. I, I hate to admit it, but I believe that we're going to see a crime wave that we've never seen before because there's not going to be any law enforcement that's going to enforce the law. Paul was saying here, but my God, he didn't say Paul would would supply. He said, my God will supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. See, God put the Lord Jesus in control of everything. And he's putting the Lord Jesus in control of this message. And you know what you have need of today? You have need of Jesus. If you're saved today, you have need of Jesus. If you're lost today, let me say this in closing. You have a need for Jesus. Just take my word on it. You might not understand it, but take my word on it. You need Jesus before he comes to this earth again. You need Jesus. If you know him, thank God that you know him, but you need Jesus. Elderly Ministry is the website. You can go there and pull up my phone number and contact me anytime. You can also get me on YouTube. You can go to YouTube, get the phone number. I've got probably nearly 600 videos online right now. You can go there and find you a video. You've got a phone number that you can contact me with. I'd love for you to call. If I can do anything to help you to know this Jesus and know who this Jesus was that Paul was talking about in this verse number 19. I pray that you know him today. If you don't, I pray that you will. Do it today. Don't put it off. You're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised tomorrow. Leave a message when you call and I'll get back to you. Okay? I appreciate y'all listening very much. Share the video if you think it'll help somebody, okay? Thank y'all for watching.